Hello, I'm Pete Starkey at Real Time with IPC. Delighted to have the opportunity to sit with Roger Massey, who's Technical Marketing Manager with Atatech. Roger, thanks for sparing the time to join us. You're very it's welcome, great. Thanks. It's great to see you again. <laughs> thanks, the last time you. I saw you was at a, an EIPC conference in Dusseldorf. Yes, I think. it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome to San Diego. <laughs> yeah, it's much warmer here. I have to <laughs> it say. It is. Yeah. It's a nicer change. Uh, Roger, I understand that you're doing a technical presentation tomorrow. Yes. Uh, and it's really on the subject of products to support the development of advanced uh, modified SAP. Yeah. Uh, could you give us a, a, a bit of an intro as to, as to yeah, what, sure. what the paper um, will be about? Like most things with modified SAP, the mobile hand industry is pushing the shift more towards finer lines and spaces. Yeah. Never-ending desire. Yeah. When you, when you say comments. finer lines and spaces, can you give us a sort of point of reference? At the, the, yeah, this? currently a, a high-end phone somewhere in the region of 30 micron lines and spaces, yeah. so just over one mil. Um, we're starting to see more requests to go down towards 20, and if possible beyond that. Yeah. But obviously customers want to use their existing infrastructure yeah, in yeah. order to achieve that. So from a process point of view, what, what are the main constraints? The biggest ones are going to be, in order to switch from a panel plate process where we are now, you need to adopt a pattern place. Yeah. So that this is a major mind shift in the way you make your boards themselves. Mm. And because of that, you then have to start looking at defects that become more apparent at finer lines, but also the ability to fill microvires yeah. in pattern plating without having to do multiple steps, yeah. uh, while obviously still retaining high capacity, high throughput, and high yield, ultimately. Yeah. Are you talking about horizontal processing or vertical processing, or a combination of both? It's going to be a combination of both. Um, I think Atatech are infamous for our horizontal processes, so we always look at horizontal, and we definitely see benefits from that, yeah. and so do our customers but there's still a lot of vertical machines installed mm. and people are looking at vertical conveyor eyes as well. So yeah. we have to have systems that are universally yeah. adoptable. Yeah. So from the point of, the, uh, point of view of the chemistry, where, where, where are you starting from? For the electrolysis copper processes, which is ultimately what tomorrow's paper is about, um, mm. two of the major issues we see are, as the lines get finer, residues that build up within the plating tools, whether they're vertical or horizontal, mm. especially around the activator module. So yeah. if your activators do precipitate, which they will, yeah. if those precipitates are palladium rich yeah. and deposit back on the yeah. board, you start seeing risks yeah. of redeposition. The technology still depends on a palladium activator. It's, yeah, whether it's a, a tin yeah. colloid or, a, or an ionic system like our own, they're still palladium based. Yeah. Although there are some interesting technologies also coming out, mm. looking at other systems, and yeah. there's papers on those no, this we've, week we've as well. We've relied on palladium for exactly. a few, a few uh, decades now. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's, yeah. there's a lot of history of it, yeah. there's a lot of data, which these days is, is vitally important yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So what, what are the, the sort of the, the fundamental areas of development from your point of view? For us, with, with, with the activators, if we start with that one, um, the deposition of why palladium deposits out of the bath is mm. we found is linked very much to the pre-dip chemistry that yeah. comes before that. Um, so the paper tomorrow discusses a new pre-dip system where traditionally these have been acid based. Mm. We've managed to make an alkaline base because the, the activators are alkalines as well. Um, so we managed to make a much more chemically balanced system yeah. which increases the stability of the activator which actively reduces the palladium deposition on the boards. Yeah. Where we've installed it, customers are, are seeing tangible and measurable benefits with, with less palladium shorts, which is yeah. really helping them and enabling them to make 30 micron lines and less. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I say I asked you for a point of reference, and yeah. you said 30, but we're, we're trending to we're, finer than that. They're trending down towards 20, and some of the roadmaps are showing numbers where yeah. potentially you'd have to start looking at true SAP yeah. down at 10 microns and beyond. Yeah. But, but do, you, do you believe that this pretreatment chemistry will support that sort of next next uh, it will stage be. of, of uh, re reduction in dimension? We're certainly anticipating it because the technology isn't going to change in terms of how we make a circuit board. At the minute, we're still using palladium activators, and we expect to do so for the yeah. foreseeable future. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we believe it should work in the, yeah. the high-end, through high-end boards yeah. as well. You mentioned throwing power of electrolysis copper. Yeah. Would you give us a, a, a bit of background on that? Yeah, it's one of the issues we're seeing, and it's happening, in order to get the densification, values are getting smaller and deeper. Yeah. Uh, and because Again, can you give me a, a point of reference? Yeah. We're getting closer more to one-to-one, -one, yeah. sort of by aspect ratios, with people are looking at 50 micron microvires. Yeah, yeah. 
and if you're looking at the real high end stuff, you can look at you, know, you can look at ten microns, but yeah, nobody's yeah. doing it in volume. It's, it's difficult to get the chemistry to go in there, very do something <laughs> useful, and come out again when it's finished. Very much so, and this is one of the benefits of doing it in a horizontal process. Yeah. We can get a lot more control over fluid dynamics, mm. um, which benefits us if we can get the liquid in, we can get the copper to where it needs to be. Yeah. And with the new electrolyst systems, we're starting to see throwing powers approaching seventy or eighty percent in very complex microvia shapes, yeah. um, which up till now have been pretty unattainable. 40 to 50 was yeah. a good throw, yeah. Yeah. isn't going to be acceptable going forward in the, in the long run. Yeah. So we seem to be getting there. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, thanks, thanks very much indeed. You're very for, welcome. For, for giving, sharing that information with us. I'm, I'm sure your paper tomorrow will attract an awful lot of interest and I will, I will uh, continue to monitor the, uh, the, the, the progress with, with, with great interest. That's great. Thanks thank, for your time thank, as well. well thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank you. Pete Starkey, real time with IPC. Thank you. Mm -hmm.